something much more serious, Barry Stewart. Barry Stewart was a butcher after more than two decades of carrying and cutting meat. He developed some pretty debilitating RSI conditions and was forced to stop work. ACC supported him. But then something went wrong. As part of their routine search for fraudsters, Barry Stewart got dragged into a kind of vortex from which he emerged in prison, not for hours or days, but months. Everything went against him, everything. The Supreme Court even described the Crown Prosecutor's language in court as inexcusable. It was the kind of nightmare you normally wake from. Barry Stewart did wake from it every morning in jail. He talked exclusively to Natasha Arting. I was standing in the dock there and uh, the foreman stood and it started off not guilty, not guilty for t 25 charges and then all of a sudden it went guilty. My head it just went down. I was just humiliated. Um, this can't be right. The jury found Barry Stewart guilty of wrongfully receiving payments from ACC. The heart of this case is whether Barry Stewart can work full-time as a butcher. That is what this case was about. ACC alleged he was faking his injury and making it up, and Barry said, no, it's genuine. But the jury believed the Crown. The Crown alleged that the 53-year-old systematically milked the taxpayer of money and Judge Abbott sent Barry Stewart to prison. And they sent me to J Block, which is a block that uh, is very isolated um, in your cell, only on your own. There was a courtyard of like a cage wire of about 10 by 10. It was a terrific nightmare to be uh, in that cage knowing that I was wrongful in prison. Barry Stewart's nightmare began back in 1992 while he was working as a butcher. I just developed ROS, RSI, a, well, in total I've done about 24 years in uh, butchering. His pain spread from his wrist to his shoulders. He developed chronic pain and a condition called fibromyalgia. I love my job. I was in tears to throw my uh, job away. Two years later, after attempts to rehabilitate himself failed, Barry Stewart went on ACC full time. But in 2005, the corporation cancelled his compensation and hired private investigators to scrutinise his case. We have a situation where we have a government agency persecuting a person who they should be rehabilitating. Barry Stewart spent a total of nine days in police cells and 312 days in prison. It's unlikely that it ever would have made it to trial in the first place had ACC heard Barry's appeal to get his weekly compensation reinstated back in 2005. When ACC finally held that review some three years later, they found that Barry actually was entitled to his weekly compensation. But in the meantime, he had been sent to prison. And if you can be entitled to something, how, how can you really steal it? This critical piece of evidence about whether or not he's entitled to weekly compensation should have been determined in 2005. And instead it was left so that ACC could prosecute him. And that is a complete abusive process. ACC's Director of Operations is in Sydney and unavailable for comment, but in the statement he says... ACC stands by its decision to investigate Mr Stewart and refer his case to the Crown Solicitor for consideration for prosecution. This was done in the best interests of New Zealand's ACC levy payers and their expectation that ACC will protect public funds from fraudulent behaviour. The whole legal process has cost the New Zealand taxpayer over a million dollars. What ACC has done over the last five years to Barry has sent him back 10 years in his rehabilitation. And it's, it's something which will increase the cost of Barry's injury to society. Barry Stewart always maintained his innocence. He argued that there had been a miscarriage of justice. And two weeks ago, the Supreme Court agreed with him. Barry didn't get a fair trial. Um, all of the participants in a court case have rules by which they have to act. The Crown didn't follow those rules and as a result the trial wasn't fair. No retrial was ordered. Barry Stewart is a free man. But at what cost? We actually had the deposition, a three-week trial, Court of Appeals twice and Supreme Court. I knew eventually we would get uh, justice eventually 
that it was harrowing to be in the court system with chronic pain. The impact in Barry's case has been absolutely massive. We got locked up at nine o'clock in the huts and uh, I would say good night Ray uh, to try and cope to get my uh, sleep and uh, sometimes through the day I would have sometimes three or four showers to try and get rid of my chronic pain to the extent that I could get some sleep. Effectively, Barry Stewart's back where he started, suffering from chronic pain and receiving weekly compensation from ACC. I think it's absolutely disgusting that ACC treats people this way. The next avenue is to pursue compensation.